completely different than what I've done before, but I was going to install body side moldings on this 2020 Forester. And the last one I had got door dings and I had wanted to put them on. And I decided to try it myself and I can already tell it is so easy. I'm going to document it and post it on YouTube. I've already put this template on. It comes with it. You just line it up with the bottom of the door. Then there are little rectangular holes here that you tape across that holds it in place. Clean off the door with alcohol and put on your new door side moldings. And these are factory uh, original equipment door moldings and they just have a, uh, a double face taping on the back. So let me show you up close how I line this up and what comes in the kit. Here's what you receive in the kit. came in a small box. These are the two rear door moldings and the two front door moldings. A couple of packs of alcohol swabs that you'll need to clean the door. And then the instructions are actually on the template. And they're very simple, written in very simple English. There's also Spanish, I believe. And these are the little rectangular openings. I just use masking tape to hold it in place. This I put on front. And then you just line up the molding with the top and stick it on. Now for the rear door, it has a special tab that says you line up the door opening with that, so that explains this little gap here. And then the back molding lines up, starts here, and the front should end about there. So I would guess you'd start from here and work forward for the front, and start here and work backwards on the rear. It was very easy to do. It has these little tabs that help line everything up. I'll probably put a piece of tape across there. For the passenger side, then you take the same template but you reverse it and it'll be plain cardboard on the back side. It does not have the instructions back there. I'll show you when I install that side. On the inside it is marked that it's a Subaru body side molding and it also is marked front left. So the left is the driver's side. You put the lettering so it's upright and this will fit just a pre-test about like that. Now, I've already cleaned this area with alcohol and a rag myself, but I'm going to now go and just do another little swipe with the one that they included. side. There are four of these alcohol wipes. Pretty good if I don't say so myself. There's the final appearance. Looks straight positioned properly and hopefully it'll protect me from those people slamming their doors into mine in the parking lot. Okay, for the passenger side, again, remember I mentioned that you'll reverse this. So we'll go on this side like so and there's even a little dip there where that goes on the door. That really helped me get it aligned just right. black mark back here that you have for the door open, so I'll be able to peel that back as I go. This is actually my third Subaru Forester. In the past probably seven years, the one before this you may have seen in some of my videos in the background, I put 102,000 miles on it. I was very happy with what they allowed on the trade-in. 
So I bought another one. Make sure I get this put on the right direction. This is the first time I've put the body side moldings on, but on both my previous models, the only problems with the, that I had with them were the door beams. So, let's see if this helps. When I brought this cotton cloth out for it, then I can slide it down and try to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And I apply more pressure. Take this off. So, by self-installing, I probably saved $200 and it was easy to do. The body side moldings are not cheap. I think through my dealer they were well over $200 and I found them on Amazon for about $175. As always, thanks for watching. I know this was a different topic than usual but it was so easy I just had to document it. Instructions are on the template itself. It shows the door in the area where it will go. And it says bottom edge of molding goes here. Align this corner of the template with the bottom edge of the door and that will be to the front. And here's that little, there's a little curvature here that helps you get it in position. Then you use these openings to put masking tape across to hold it in place. Again, the bottom edge of the molding goes here. So on the two ends it says the same thing. Then this little cutout is what lines up the rear door. And it also has the instructions. And this is the part where you Line these tabs up and then you align this black mark up so it's between the two door openings. I found it easy to install and total amount of time maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes but that was you know just double checking and making sure I was happy with the fit. So that's on the 2020 Subaru Forester. I'm sure that they have kits for all the model years and like I said um, I'm hoping that it'll reduce some of the door dings or the door dings will be on that molding. Mm -hmm.